You ready? Guess what? They're the right kits. It is? Now what about the... The bolts. These are the bolts? These look smaller. Seal kits look right. This looks smaller than the oh, original. They are a little bit. Yeah, and look at they're shorter. They won't hit the best. Yeah, that fits. The washers are right. <coughs> we good? So right now we're just checking to see if everything fits, and so far so good. I waited over a week for these parts. Well. There's a little bit more of a story. I'm say that for the end, but as of right now, so far everything looks good. I'm gonna get it done. And so far, everything looks good. So he's going to be working on the calipers, I'm going to be dressing up my tires because it's going to be a lot easier while the wheels are off, so, yeah. Yep. Down. Up. Down. Up. Oh, I've missed you, Bullet. Oh, yeah, I did. So, Bullet is officially done. There's. Brakes are done, they look great. I'll show you guys at the end, they look awesome. But I just wanna explain exactly what happened throughout this process. So yeah, let's get started. So as you guys watched in the first video, if you saw it, the link will be in the description below, it'll be the first link. Um, what happened was is I took out the front right caliper and when I was taking it off, I accidentally tore the front or the seal where the pistons are. Now, I tried to look for some parts and nobody in town had it, so I had to order some. Well, I ordered some on the long weekend, which was, you know, that was going to take a while. And then when I got that, the pieces were smaller. Now, that really pissed me off because we thought we found it. We were going to put it on on Wednesday, but more problems came. So, the seals were too small, and then my banjo bolt was stripped. And we don't know how it stripped. It just started leaking like a sieve. Every, like, it was just leaking like crazy. So, the banjo bolt was bad, the seals were too small, so we just said, you know what, we're just going to buy the new, or the right kit that everyone was talking about, because we did a lot of research on this. So, we bought this kit, we had priority shipping, so it was here in two days. So, today is Saturday, and we ordered it Thursday. So, we got the parts, and... It all was a smooth install. The only issue we had was we kept bleeding the brakes and we're like, why is there no, why is the pedal still like really spongy and going to the floor? We don't, we didn't understand. So what was wrong was that the master cylinder had some air in it. And when we started to bleed the master cylinder, all of a sudden it just poof, air just came out and next thing you know, the pedal started feeling fine. We were doing this for like five hours trying to figure out 
what was going on. And in reality, it was just air in the system and in the master cylinder and the lines. But bullet is done. The brakes look great. They stop awesome. They, I've never had such good brakes on a car before. So they're the Power Stop Z23s, I believe they are. Great brakes. The only issue I had was that in the uh, the hat of the rotor is a hair bit smaller than what uh, the stock rotor is, so we had to use an eighth of an inch spacer in the front, but that's the only issue I had with these brake kits. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you around the car now, but anyways, now you guys are caught up with everything, and the reason why I didn't film a lot is because me and my dad were super stressed about this because we've been working on it for so long, but now you guys get to see it done. And now Bullet is going to have some more videos on the channel. So, anyways, let's show you guys the whole brakes to set up thing deal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Alright, hopefully that caught on. But, um, anyway, the brakes look great, like I said. So, I'm going to show you all the way around. Um, and then I also want to show you that I put some spacers on the car. Not just in the front, but I did a little bit in the rear. So, anyway, here's how they look. So, like I said, let's focus here. They're Power Stop Z23s, I believe, and they just look fantastic with the stock brake calipers on it, and the new pads actually were really good, too. They're uh, ceramic, and I know they're going to dust a little bit at first, but then after that, supposedly they're not going to, so yeah, that's they look great. I have no complaints whatsoever, so anyway, I don't know how well you can tell, but there is a spacer in there that will focus, so yeah, there's that spacer, and then you go to the back. And, you know, it looks great as well. Focus. There we go. Yeah, they just look great. So, and then in the back, I did a quarter inch spacer. Like I said, I don't know if you could tell. But, you know, all I needed was a quarter inch. And now it looks a little bit more flush with the fender. Um, I have 285 tires in the back. So, maybe you need to upgrade to 305s one day. So, yeah, like I said, bullet is done. Um, there is obviously going to be more modifications in the future. But, we got the brakes done. They look great. They perform great. So, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, next video is probably going to be about this specific little device that I recently picked up as well. So, let's grab that. Next video is going to be about this guy. So, anyways, stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to subscribe for more Mustang videos and other car content. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.